Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have uh, this nice algebraic expression and now we convert this algebraic expression into the simplified form. So in this question uh, we solve this problem for uh, two methods. Uh, so here we uh, discuss our method first. So uh, in first method uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here uh, first uh, we make the prime factors of 8 and we know that the prime factors of 8 uh, are written in this form so if here you have 8 and we write this 8 is 2 to the power of 3 because we know that 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8 and similarly we have inside the square root and you have here this is 8 so we write this 8 also 3 to the power of uh, 2 to the power of 3 and similarly we write this 8 as 2 to the power of 3 and we write its whole power 8. So uh, now in the next step uh, here we focus on uh, this term. We focus on this term so that uh, in this term we just break uh, this exponent and we write this expression as square root of 2 to the power of 3 into square root of 2 to the power of 3 into here we have square root of 2 to the power of 3 and now we break this square root and we write it as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 okay because we know that if you have the same base so that we just add its exponents and when you add these exponents you will get here 3 so now in the next step we uh, just uh, open this k root and when we separate this k root on this term and this term so that these two and k root are cancelled by each other and we move this uh, only two in outside this k root and we write this in this form and we have two to the power of three and its whole square root into square root of 2 to the power of 3 so here we move this 2 outside the square root and we have this is 2 and we remaining our square root of 2 and its whole power 8 and now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we again write this expression as 2 to the power of 3 into square root of here you see that the basis on these two terms are same so that we add its exponents and we write it as 2 to the power of 4 into square root of 2 and its whole power 8. And uh, now in the next step here we just uh, separate the square root. So we know that uh, the square root is equals to in exponent form is 1 by 2. So now first we put this square root uh, to exponent 1 over 2 and we write it as 2 to the power of 3 into square root of 2 to the power of 4 into square root of 2 and its whole exponent 1 by 2. So here we just write this square root equals to 1 by 2 and we have the whole exponent is 8. And we know that if you have exponent to the exponent then these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we write this expression as 2 to the power of 3 into square root of 2 to the power of 4 into square root of 2 and after that we multiply 1 over 2 by 8. So here we need some simplification and you see here this 2 4s are 8 and we will get here 2 to the power of 3 into square root of 2 to the power of 4 into square root of 2 and the remaining exponent is 4. So after that here we uh, just separate this exponent and first we separate this square root on both of these terms and we will write it as 2 to the power of 3 into 2 to the power of 4 and its whole square root because this uh, this square root is separate on this term and this term as well so we write it as square root of square root of 2 into whole exponent is 4 
So now in the next step, uh, we have uh, more simplification and we uh, just rewrite this expression as 2 to the power of 3. And here uh, when we, sep when we uh, take the exponent of the square root, so it is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is cancelled out by this 4 and it is equals to 2 to the power of 2 and similarly this will becomes 2 to the power of 1 by 4 and its whole exponent is 4 and now in the next step we just separate this exponent of on all of these terms so first we add these three terms and we just get here first we add these two terms and we will get 2 to the power of 5 into 2 to the power of 1 by 4 and its whole exponent is 4 and now in the next step we separate this exponent and we write it as 2 to the power of 5 and its whole exponent 4 into 2 to the power of 1 by 4 and its whole power 4 so here uh, we need some simplification and we will get here uh, this these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we get 2 to the power of 20 and here these are cancelled by each other and we get here 2 to the power of 1 so when we add these two exponents it will be equals to 2 to the power of 21 so this is the simplified form from method number one and now we again solve this problem for method number two now we again solve this problem by second method and in second method first we write all these radical forms into the exponential form so here first we uh, just write first we separate this radical sign on each of these terms then it will be written as square root of 8 and when we separate this on this and it will be written as 2 times of square root of 8 and when we separate these two square on square root on this term and it will be written as 3 times of for square root of 8 and its whole power 8 and now in the next step here we write these all radicals in exponential form and we know that the value of square root is 1 by 2 and the value of 2 times of square root is 1 by 4 and the value of 3 times of square root is 1 by 8 and its whole exponent is 8 and now you see here the basis of all of these terms are same so we add its exponents and it will be written as 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and its whole exponent is 8 and now in the next step we take the LCM on this exponent and it will be 8 so we have 4 plus 2 plus 1 and its whole exponent is 8 so here we need little bit simplification and we have 8 to the power of 7 over 8 and its whole exponent is 8. So now uh, this 8 is cancelled out by this 8 and we will get here 8 to the power of 7. So we know that 8 equals to 2 to the power of 3 and its whole exponent is 7. So 7 3s are 21. So we will finally get here. 2 to the power of 21 so this is the our final simplified form and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos